Hi there guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to add and remove stock templates and this will be for the new sheet feature. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back in the program here. So now in the previous few videos, we looked at adding custom sheets with uh, its own dimensions. We've also looked at using the actual stock. So the stock templates that come at hand. And then we also looked at importing remnant. So now today we're gonna to be looking at adding and deleting stock uh, templates. And this is great, like I said, if you've got a maybe a certain type of material and size you work with a lot and it is not under the current stock, you can add it there or let's say your client uses something a lot and you need um, a template for it. Now what you can do is you add in your size. So I'm gonna make mine the 800 by 600 that we used previously. And then what we can do at the bottom, we fill in information about it. So um, this, I'm just added random things just so you can see. Which a thickness to 10, so it's quite extreme. And then, uh, yeah, once you fill in all your information, and then what you want to do is you simply click on the add button on top here. Click add, and then we will see it added it here to our right. So now if I zoom in here for you guys, you can see we've got the 800 by 600 and it's got a 10 um, thickness. Now, yeah, I would personally have liked a little title here that says what it is. So maybe you can put a custom little string to it. But um, yeah, unfortunately it is not, but this is fine. I mean, if you not if you don't have too many templates under your um, stock, then it should not be a problem. Now, once again, if you want to delete this one, it is quite important that you select it. Because whichever one is selected, it will delete it. And then unless you remember the values, it will not be there the next time you open. So before I delete it, I'll just show you guys. So if I say cancel here, we go new sheet. And then, okay, I should have said, okay, let's just quickly try that again. So 800, 600. I'll just put in some random values here. And then what we do is we add this, select that, say OK. Now we've got our sheet here. So now if I close it and we go to new sheet, you will notice it is still here under the actual um, template. So don't do what I do and say cancel. It will cancel your actual um, action you just did now once again if you want to remove it like i say select it if you no longer need it and you simply just click on the delete button and it will remove it from your list so just a very quick recap here so um, to add custom templates we want to change uh, the size of it your x and y put in some information about the actual material and machine and then we say simply add and to delete it, select the one you want, you click delete. But yeah, that is it on adding custom templates or stock templates. If we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares we do cover. And you can also isolate your search on the top right. If you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the new form, and then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.